We're going to lead off this hour with the breaking news. Unifor says there is a tentative deal to end what was an eight hour long strike by auto workers at Stellantis, the parent company of Chrysler. Let's go right to Chris Ensing in Windsor. Chris, what is the latest that you're hearing on this breaking news? Uh, yes, good morning. Not only is the tentative agreement in place, now that means the strike is over and it will be back to work for people here at the Windsor Assembly Plant behind me. This is where they build the Pacifica. I'm just going to move aside here so you can see what's left of the strike action. Uh, maybe five, ten minutes ago, Heather, you were looking at hundreds of people out in front of this gate alone. There's about 4,500 people who work at the Windsor Assembly of Plant. There's 8,000 employees with Stellantis, the parent company of Jeep, Dodge, Chrysler uh, that work in Canada. Most of them are here in Windsor. There's also a plant in Brampton as well where they build the Challenger and the Charger. Everybody was on strike as of 11.59 because Unifor said it could not reach an agreement with Stellantis saying on Friday that they were far away, that there were still concessions on the table. Uh, they said they started to bridge those gaps together, uh, but it wasn't enough. That strike took place at midnight and just seven and a half hours later now, everybody being told go on home and get ready to go back to your regularly scheduled program because this agreement, a tentative agreement, has been reached between Unifor and Stellantis. And I'm wondering if you've had a chance to hear anything official from the company, but from the people who were on the picket line, what are they saying, Chris? Yes, Heather, we did hear from the company when the strike was announced that they were extremely disappointed. I have reached out to the company now to hear what they're saying. I have not heard back from them yet. Uh, I have heard from employees who have been going in and out uh, who are happy about the deal. Some people have been cheering. The idea of not having to stay outside anymore, it's pretty frigid, it's pretty cold. Uh, but we've been hearing about the satisfaction that they think that their bargaining committee has gotten them the deal that they want to see here in Windsor especially uh, because what we've seen throughout this uh, pattern bargaining is what they call it during the auto talks is Unifor representing thousands of workers who are at the table saying that they want more spurred on by the way that they've seen profits rise but their wages stay stagnant spurred on by what's been happening in the United States as they've seen a loud push for raising by their union over there. We remember that Ford secured a deal with Unifor early on. That was the first in this pattern agreement. Uh, but only 54% of employees voted in favor of that. Very narrow. And here in Windsor, we heard from people at this assembly plant behind us that they did not agree with what was in that deal and that they wanted more. So people I spoke with earlier tonight when we were out and that straight action was taking place said that they were happy that they were on strike, feeling that the bargaining team gets it, that they're trying to get every dollar for the people who are working now and for retirees. What happens next, Heather? It has to go to the employees. So they'll have a ratification meeting. They're going to do that in person. We've heard that the Zoom versions of this that they've had before were not very happy, according to members doing that. So they're going to be back to old fashioned union meetings to discuss this. And then it will be up to membership to decide if it's good enough for them to accept that deal and return to work. Chris, thank you so much. The live report from Chris Ensing in Windsor, I know going to be gathering even further reaction for us and continuing to bring us the latest there.